Welcome back everyone. In this week's video, we're talking all about microscopes and we will be comparing two completely different types of microscopes so you can hopefully find out which one is best for your homeschooling environment. The Carson Micro Mini is a microscope used with your cell phone to obtain images up to 20 times magnification. The Amscope microscope is a more traditional styled microscope that offers up to 2400 times magnification. Both of these microscopes were purchased on Amazon and if you're interested in any one of them at the end of the video, you can click on the link in the description down below. In this video between the two microscopes, we will be comparing the build quality, the power, the usability, the portability, the price, and at the end of the video, we'll talk about all the pros and cons and which one might be better for you and your homeschooling environment. The first topic we're going to discuss is the build quality. The Amscope microscope does have a nice solid metal frame. It feels good and it feels sturdy. The problem with the metal frame is quite a few plastic pieces and knobs. The plastic components of the Amscope microscope don't give it a lot of confidence, but we've had it for several months now and it hasn't broken. The Carson Micro Mini microscope is nearly 100% plastic. Even though the Carson microscope doesn't have any metal components to it, it does feel more structurally sound basically due to its small stature and how well the components fit together. There's no flimsiness or loose parts like you find on the traditional Amscope microscope. Because the Amscope microscope does have a metal frame, it is solid enough and I don't feel like it needs to be punished for its build quality, so I will give it one tiny check mark. But because the Carson Micro Mini microscope does feel more sturdy in the hands, I'm gonna give it two check marks. Next up, we're gonna be talking about power or magnification. And in this category, we have a clear winner. The lowest magnification that the Amscope microscope provides is still higher than the magnification the Carson Micro Mini provides. The Amscope microscope can get up to 2,400 times magnification. That being said, the image quality when you get up that high is a little suspect. Nevertheless, it is offered. However, don't let the 20 times magnification fool you. As we showed on a video a few months ago when we were talking about just this microscope and how it surprised me and how capable it was, you can use this microscope coupled with your cell phone and actually visualize the cells of the skin of an onion. So that's still pretty impressive. So when you're thinking about purchasing a microscope, just think about how much amplification you're really going to need. With that being said, the Amscope microscope clearly takes the prize in this category. The next category we're going to discuss is ease of use or usability. And this is something you really need to consider when you're purchasing your next microscope. Kids often like the idea of putting something under the microscope and magnifying it hundreds of times to see exactly what it's made of. But when using a traditional microscope, it's not as easy as that. Oftentimes you have to prepare a slide, make a mount, and it takes some time. It's not as simple as just shoving something that you found out in the yard under the microscope to take a look at it. In the instructions that come with the kit, they talk about putting household table salt under the lens to see the crystals that are formed. And they go through the process of making a slide in a step-by-step -step manner. First thing you have to do is get some warm water, and then you have to dissolve some crystals. So the dissolving process goes much faster if you put it in the microwave and heat it up. While that's happening, grab your table salt, and then you're going to dissolve it in the warm water that you just made in the microwave. Take a few drops of your now dissolved table salt solution and put it onto your slide. Then we have to wait until the slide dries. And as you can see, that's not the quickest of processes. Or you could just put it in the oven and warm it up a little bit. Just don't cook your camera. As you can see, it's a process to make a slide. Another example they have in the instructions is using a household potato and making a slide of it to put under the microscope. First, you have to take a thin slice of the potato, put it on the slide, stain the potato with eosin dye, and fortunately they include it in the kit. Then you have to let it dry, place a cover slip on top of it, then put it under the microscope, and then you can actually magnify the potato to get a good look under the lens. So it's a process that can take some time. And if your kids have a similar attention span of my kids, squirrel! then you may want to start cheap and see if they're really interested in microscopy and willing to put the time in to actually appreciate it before you invest in a more expensive microscope. Because every parent has been fooled by the, if you buy this for me, I promise I will use it speech. Here's looking at you, baby Yoda. I can't believe they suckered me into buying that. And they never play with it. All that being said, the Carson Micro Mini is the clear winner in the usability category. All you have to do is attach this to your phone like that and then you're good to go and you can walk around and magnify things anywhere you find them. So for ease of use, while the Amscope traditional microscope is no more complicated than any other microscope, it can't compete with the usability of the Carson Micro Mini. Just being able to put it onto your phone and you're instantly ready to start viewing things under the microscope. Plus the ability to instantly take pictures and send them to friends and family or even make video is also an added bonus. The next category is portability and the winner here is going to be the Carson Micro Mini just by the nature of its small size. You can literally put this thing in your pocket and take it anywhere. 
However, that doesn't mean the traditional Amscope microscope is not portable. It does come with a nice form-fitting case. It's not heavy. You can easily move it from room to room or take it from house to house if you're sharing it among other people or in a cooperative environment. So I'm going to give them both a check mark here as they're both pretty portable and lightweight. Although the Carson Micro Mini probably beats it out just by a little bit, again, by nature of its small size. Let's talk about the price. The Amscope microscope generally retails on Amazon.com for $54.99, but it's pretty much always on sale. And again, it's not just a microscope that you're purchasing, and it comes with many other things to enhance the experience. The Carson Micro Mini also retails on Amazon.com for $19.99. While the Amscope microscope is more expensive, I'm going to give them both a check mark because I'm grading them on how accurately I think they should be priced. At $54.99, you're definitely spending more money, but you're getting much more as well. So they're both getting check marks because I think they're both reasonably priced for what you're getting. So in conclusion, which one is better? It's complicated. If you're thinking about purchasing a microscope as an introduction to microscopy for your kids, but don't really have an idea of what exactly you plan on magnifying, then I would start out with this, especially if your kids are younger. They're really going to have a good time taking this out in the yard or even around the house. And as I mentioned earlier, you can magnify anything. What we typically magnify the most are bugs and insects that we find lying around outside. That's always pretty interesting. That being said, if your kids are a little bit older or if you are ready for them to have the experience of making slides and preparing mounts, then the Amscope microscope is a pretty good way to start. Microscopes can get really expensive really fast. So at $54, and again, it's usually on sale, this microscope comes with just about everything you need to get started. Before I get to the final thoughts, if you're new here, we are a 100% homeschooling channel. We go back and forth between science experiments and product reviews for the homeschooling family. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. Also know that we have a website, homeschoolscienceclub.com. That is where we put our associated worksheets that go along with our videos. We also have x-rays and a few other things that you can download. So don't forget about the website if you're interested. To sum it all up, I don't think you can go wrong with either one of them. Again, if your kids are a little bit older and want the true microscope experience, keeping in mind that you do have to take time to make some slides and it can be a little bit of a tedious process, but it's like that across the board with all microscopes, then this is an excellent place to start. If your kids are a little bit younger or you're just not sure that they have the attention span and are willing to put forth the time and effort to make slides but are interested in magnifying things, then the Carson Micro Mini is also a good place to start as well. I hope this video was useful for you and helps you potentially find the right microscope for your needs. Have a great day everyone and we'll see you next week.